optimize track performance and enable drifts. Drifts, I'm inserting the video right now. That is just insane to deliver maximized driving fun, driving fun. Welcome to Car Seeing Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Gia cars. I'm here today to capture the latest N that was released on the N day. The physical car is actually here. I was here yesterday on the press day where I covered a whole bunch of newly released cars. So go check that video out right here including the Ionic 6. So the precise name for this car is actually RN22E. Before it was RM, the letter M, and that was uh, supposedly the rear mid ship. So it was actually named after the position of the engine. This is actually the very first electrified N that is officially debuted by and from Hyundai and I'm already at Hyundai booth right there. So let's go check it out. Everybody is hyped about the Ionic 6 here today. Once again, I've captured that intensively right here. So go check that video out. This is the Ionic 6 as well as the Ionic 5. And I actually love the color of this car. Just look at this. The Ionic 6, it's all there. So go check the video out, but it's here. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is RN22. E. This was world premiered and debuted literally a few hours ago, but I have this car, the physical car, right in front of me. The name is RN22E. It represents N as the uh, N that we all know of, and 22, the year that it has been made, and the letter E for the electrification. And never miss out this gigantic N on the front grill. Not only does it help with the aerodynamics, but it makes the air exit hugging along the bottom and the hood of the car and alongside the roof and also it goes towards the rear I mean it's been many many years since I've seen an eyelid on cars you know we're talking about like 90s early 2000 here it is the eyelid has come back from manufacturer or Hyundai has put on an eyelid having said this I'm pretty sure a lot of Ionic 6 owners would come up with an eyelid of their own and actually put it like that well because just look at that it makes the car look much more aggressive the air flap the active air flap is gone you don't need that for N, you always need extra air, the cooling, so it's open 24 7. The air curtain on the sides, it's also actually gone. Forget about the coefficient of drag, the 0.21 that Ionic 6 had. This car doesn't need it anymore. The wheels, it's got 21 inch wheels on, and it's got 275 35 on the front. This is the front, not the rear. Four pot piston, but this does not look like that of the uh, M performance brakes no so it has the good old uh, five spoke wheels that looks like stars got some holes in it uh, it's got like a little bit of a shield plates around it so probably that's not just for the looks but it's for aerodynamic and efficiency this EGMP stands for electric global modular platform that Hyundai exclusively made for EV cars and I actually have the bone sketch of that car right above here so go check that video out in the card let me show you the rear 275 35 21 so it's actually a square setup so the tire sizes are same all around the rear has one big pot so that is a one pot break right there kind of uh, surprising to see that and right there is also a whole gigantic hole they did not forget about the hole for the rear and it comes all the way back to here this is much more evident from this angle obviously I can even see the tires that is just ridiculous. This vertical reflector, this is just the rear uh, reflector. It's not brake lights. This is the reverse lights and that is the brake light. Uh, that is still carried over straight from Ionic 6 but people look at this rear diffuser. The rear diffuser is really literally a pixel. It's a complete square and they even have it on this RN22E. Another pixels here, the squares and squares. And this diffuser I bet it's stretched all the way down to the middle. I don't even need to double check that. We don't even see the end of the where the diffuser takes us. It's connected and stretches out all 
all the way to here. Awesome RN22E written here. This is the thin Hyundai logo that they have introduced first time on Ionic 6, but they have blacked it out. So blacking out the car on performance and sports cars, that never gets old. And I think this clear taillight, well, this is straight from Ionic 6, but absolutely love it. Of course, the rear seat delete. There is no seat on the rear. And there is the where the motors, uh, entire battery packs are sitting underneath. The charging port is completely circular. They did not forget about, I mean, the duckbill is still there straight from the uh, Ionic 6. So there has been a lot of discrepancy about, you know, having two spoilers, right? Keeping the original tiny spoiler plus having the gigantic GT spoiler on top. That's been controversial on aftermarket modifications and whatnot but i guess uh, hyundai has a statement on that one now and of course you don't need a variable bolts for purpose-built car like a race car like this rn22e there are no other holes and this is very reminiscent of the end performance spoiler from elantra n especially the way the tip the end and this canard excuse me this plate is designed this is straight from elantra n i kind of want to say it. here it seems like a little bit of a gurney flap type of a thing at the end towards here well you could say that that may not be the much but it actually helps a lot there's a big difference having a little bit of a gurney flap at the end versus having none and as for the batteries go it comes with a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery that supports both 400 volts and as well as 800 volts it provides the super fast charging as well the speed is limited at 250 it seems this car is also capable of traveling faster than 250 kilometers per hour plus all right the parting line for the trunk well this is useless i don't think the trunk is going to be open unless the car needs to go under the maintenance or whatnot but just look at this look at this design on the c pillar that is connected all the way up like that the flush type door handle straight from ionic 6 i don't know if you want that on a race car though and a little hard to see but right there it's got the roll cage and roll bars of course every race car needs that this is the side mirror i like how we see the letter n on the reflection but well you know probably they put some of the aerodynamics in mind when creating and coming up with this uh, mirror and this fender line is continued and connected with what's seen on the back so this completes the design language I mean, I never thought that such gigantic car like Ionic 6 would look good on this performance blue. This is not the performance blue that we are currently getting. You have a Luster N or Elantra N or Kona N for that matter. No, it's actually a little bit, well, not a not little bit, it's completely matte. This is a matte paint, if not matte wrap, matte colored. So as much as I want to touch it, I'm not going to. Oh, I can see that it's a decal. So it's not a paint. The headlight seems to be borrowed straight from the Ionic 6 and whatnot. And of course, do not, do not forget about the red lip and the points. That is also now a symbol for ends. That's also continued on the side skirts. And I bet it's continued on the rear as well. Yes, yes, of course it's continued. This red stripe, never forget. And this is the newest and latest and fastest and highest technology put. Everything that Hyundai has got to offer. The latest and I give it to you ladies and gentlemen or N22E unfortunately probably this would not hit the production line anytime soon but this is what Hyundai has in the store for us I am completely stoked and blown away seeing this car in person and I'm really happy to deliver this footage to you first here in Korea as an end owner for your information I also have a Veloster N myself so you see where all the hype is coming from that letter N that Hyundai has come up with it's made every a lot of people's life completely completely different, including mine. We call it Rolling Lab, representing the continuous development of our most advanced technologies. These two cars are actually the Rolling Lab, which where they are inspired from the race heritage and experiences, and they put that technology on the car first before it hits the factory line and comes out to the production line. But we know that Hyundai is capable of pumping out such cars that we see before us, and I just can't wait to see more of these cars, especially 
I don't know if I will ever have such an experience getting in the passenger seat of this car, but if I do, well, that's that's the day when my dreams come true. This gave a great, great idea of what the car is going to look like and the, what the feature is going to be like for Hyundai Motorsports. All right, so that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and like Cars in Korea if you did, and never just drive. And that's what Annie is all about. Big shout out to N.